Hey guys, this is Onel Free uh, from onelfree.com and from work with Onel at Instagram. I'm making this video because I would like to share, I want to share value with you guys and I want to show you exactly how I was able to grow my account. Firstly, um, from zero to 10K and now from 10K to 20K. Uh, the 9K to 17K came in less than 30 days, as you can see there on the screen. So this is my account as of today. Uh, today is September 17th, uh, 4 p.m. Don't mind the 9.41 a.m. at the top. That's just the default setting for the screen recording. Okay, so this is my account as of now. I just posted this over here. It's a video. Um, it's actually a shout out for a friend of mine that I did, and I posted it about an hour ago. I've gotten that many views as of now. Here's another one that I did as well. So exactly how can we get this kind of growth is the question that I'm going to be answering in this video. And I'm going to just go through a couple of my most popular posts and show you exactly how I did it. So um, out of all these most recent ones, the one that got the most likes out of all of them would be in between this one, which got about 18 hundred almost 1900 and this one which got about almost 1700 it's not that much actually um, but I'm just gonna show you most recently what I did with these okay so in order for me to get uh, this kind of engagement there are a few things involved over here um, so I'm gonna start with this example this is not one of my posts of course as you can see this is a post that's by motivation stories and this is their account over here. They have about uh, 75K, as you can see, right? So I went ahead and shared this post to give them more exposure, basically, and also to share it with my followers because I felt that was appropriate. Um, the way I found that account was through this other page uh, that's called The Gentleman's Rulebook, which is a friend of mine who has 133K as of now as well. So he. He actually shared this post not too long ago, um, and I went ahead and shared it as well. So by me doing this sort of shout out of a shout out, I'm already tagging two large accounts in this post, right? And as you can see over here, I'm using a lot of hashtags. So um, the number one thing here that I'm doing is that I'm tagging these two large accounts and it's a shout out of a shout out, which is a good strategy that has been tested uh, to get a lot more engagement than you usually get. Okay, this post is still only one day ago, so it still has a chance of getting a a bit more likes at least. So that's that one, and I'm gonna move along over here to another recent one that I did that actually blows those two away. This one got 6,282 likes. And that's a whole bunch more than that, almost six times more. So at 20K followers, 6,000 likes <clears throat> is about 25% engagement approximately, even more than that. So how exactly did, did this happen, of course, right? I'm actually shouting out a larger account, but not only am I shouting any post that I see that they have, but I'm looking through their account and I'm checking which posts are getting um, way above average engagement than they usually get. So you see this one got 143,000 likes. Usually they'll get around 100,000 likes, which is great for an account that has 10 million. Not bad, I guess, um, for a very large account like this one. Uh, so that's pretty much what they get. This one you can see is 143. You can go through and you can probably find another one that has gotten a lot more, like this one, 268,000. So I went ahead and found that and see how many comments also that they got. Um, and there's a reason why. People like this quote, people like the image, it's very original. You don't see this too much around Instagram, right? And um, so, and I tag them because I give credit where it's due. And I'm not sure if they made this or if, if someone else made it, but I tag them. Uh, to make sure and um, it had the same effect on my page as you can see uh, so 
But that's not the only part of that strategy. Now, as you see, I'm not tagging 19 people over here. I'm tagging one person, and that and it worked. A lot of people they they tag a lot of people here, and it also can work for them. But in this case, I chose to experiment and see what would happen. And also, one really cool thing that I've been doing is I've been using these sort of location like and share. That is a call to action as well. What else did I do with this post? I got 220 comments as well. People are tagging like crazy here. That quote just really hits home too, you know? Um, it's original and it's it's something that our society needs at, at this time. Okay, so what I did here is I didn't just copy and paste the same old hashtags that I always do. Um, I, I copied almost all of them, but I changed a few. I put loved over here. Is not going to show here right now because it's been already a few days since I posted that. But uh, my post was actually here on the top nine posts. Um, as you can see, this has four million, almost four million posts. So that was a huge factor there. And it also made a few other ones too, a few other top posts. Um, so, well, oh, there goes one of my posts as well. Um, 1.5 million posts as well. So, um, hashtag research is important too, right? Some people say, hey, you have to max out and use 30 hashtags. I've been testing that out. It's working pretty well. But um, I've been experimenting with a little bit less hashtags. And um, I will let you know how that also works out for me. I use a combination of hashtags that have a lot of posts on them. And others that have a little bit less. Like, let's say this one. Marketing tips is only 142,000. As you can see, my post is also there. Um, and that's already one day old and it's still there. Uh, which means this hashtag is not as active, but it's pretty active. Um, that's another thing. You want to choose active hashtags, not just any hashtag. I actually do my hashtag research um, on a weekly basis. So you want to choose hashtags that are not that are not so active, but that are also very active as well. You want to mix it around. Don't choose hashtags that are dead that nobody's using. Okay. Uh, for example, um, here's one, entrepreneurship. This one has a lot of posts, 2 million posts. Uh, and a lot of likes of course so if you make it on that hashtag you're sure to get a lot of engagement as well uh, but you need to beat these posts over here in order to make it here so um, if, if, if you're averaging you know about 5,000 likes then I'll say hey go right ahead and do it you know this guy is doing pretty well on that side um, so if not, though, you should go ahead and try to research some other hashtags that you might make. And also check if they're getting these likes over here, 3,000 likes in about seven hours, can you get that or beat that is the question. So if not, then you should go ahead and use this awesome feature over here at the top that Instagram recently introduced uh, to look at other hashtag ideas that are similar and see if you can use those. Another um, great strategy that I've been using recently um, is there's a huge trend right now or it has been for a very long time one of the largest hashtags on on instagram period uh i, I think it's this one right here um as you can see 259 million posts ridiculous crazy amount posts uh, like for like you can see why now but you know these posts are coming through on a consistent basis so you, there's a good chance that you can make it on there um, which is good and the good thing is like for likes that a lot, what a lot of people do is that they'll just go in here and they'll start liking stuff like this um, because that's what the hashtag is obviously about what it should be about at least that's that was the original intention but not everyone follows the rules of course and here's another variation of that hashtag l for l as you can see over here in the related there's a whole bunch of things of that nature on there. And there's hashtags like follow me, gain, train, follow, train, gain, trick, and all these, any hashtag like that. If you go through and start liking um, those posts or, or even uh, participate in these sort of like my recent things, you're sure to get a lot of engagement and a lot of followers as well. But be careful with that because um, 
a lot of those followers are fake sometimes and or they just might follow and then unfollow you but um, it's good to add it in together with your other things that you're doing because that's how Instagram works. This, there's no one single thing that's going to get you the amount of followers or the amount of engagement and growth that you want on Instagram. It's a combination of all these things that work together in unison. That's the major key over here, guys. And over here, um, you've probably heard of it before, um, these, these long list of tags that people used to use before. And now Instagram... Uh, limited that you can only tag about 19 um, and i've been testing that as well i see that it's boosting a little bit not as much um, you know of course depending on the post over here is is a page shout out that i did you know it just really depends you know the image itself the caption everything together you know and another key factor is what kind of engagement are you getting as soon as you post within the first 10 minutes Organic, not forced engagement too. It's very key, guys. That's that. Um, as far as unicorn posts go, what I've been experimenting with and um, what's the kind of growth that I've been getting. If you have any questions about this, just feel free to DM me on Instagram or you can go to onalfreed.com and you can contact me from there as well. Uh, you can leave a comment on one of my blog posts, however you like. If you like this training, please feel free uh, to share it with others um, as I'm going to be making more of these trainings. And of course, um, if you like a more in-depth guide, check out the link in my bio. I work with Onel over here. Um, that There's a book I have partnered over here with Founder Magazine. There's a book for those that are trying to get to their first 10,000 followers fast. And it's not just any book over here. If you read this book and if you apply all the steps in it, in depth and you don't just overlook and say oh I know how to do that already no read the info read between the lines and understand it put it in practice download this ebook right now get instant access the only thing I'm gonna offer you of course um, that goes together with the course that founder made um, which is called Instagram domination so Instagram domination over here is a course that I've been able to get a special discount for you guys as well, but only for people that purchase through my link. Um, you can go to onafri.com forward slash get IGD um, and it would come over here. So that's O N E L F R I dot com forward slash G E T I G D. Um, and as you can see over here, Lewis House reviewed this course as well. Um, there's a bunch of testimonials even Gary V actually said that this course is totally worth it so yeah that's that guys I look forward to giving you some more trainings in the future about Instagram and of course let me know if you have any questions send me a DM on Instagram uh, if you like for me to make another video on to show you how I actually make these posts like this video over here and how you can make something similar to it leave me a DM or leave me a comment uh, anywhere on my blog or my Instagram. If you're going to hit me up on Instagram, send me a direct message. All right, guys? Um, and for those that do, I actually um, have a small bonus. So I advise you to go ahead and do it. Once again, thank you, guys. This is Onel Free. We're Make sure you follow me. I work with Onel. Till next time.